The 2024 track and field season is finally here, and the indoor season is already booming. It's only been two weeks since the turn of the new year, and we have already seen many great performances go down. We saw Shanti Jackson from Arkansas make her 2024 indoor debut, running a new indoor 400 PB of 52.10, we saw Favor Ache from Auburn set a new world lead with a dominant win in the men's 60 meter dash in 6.53 seconds. And of course, we have to mention a new NCAA record from Yusuf Bizimana from Texas, breaking the collegiate record in the 1000 meters with a time of two minutes 18.10 seconds. Every season when the indoor circuit finally kicks back into gear, we get introduced to new names, we see new world leads spearheading the new season, and we also see familiar faces jumping into new races for the year. And speaking of familiar faces, we officially have Matthew Bowling running in the 2024 Clemson Invitational in South Carolina, where he is opening his 2024 campaign in the 300 meters. Now, we have talked about this running distance on multiple occasions, and even though it is quite uncommon to witness, it really is one of the greatest distances to watch, because it really does require both speed and strength to find success. And this is very evident, given that the three greatest 300 athletes of all time are Wade Van Niekerk from South Africa, Michael Johnson from the United States, and of course, there's Usain Bolt from Jamaica. And these are three of the greatest athletes to ever grace the track. Now for this 300 meter showdown, Bowling is up against some very difficult competition, including Cameron Rose from Clemson and Brian Faust from the United States. Now on paper, Bowling does have the fastest 300 meter personal record of the entire field, as his 32.40 from 2023 currently ranks him as the third fastest indoor 300 athlete in collegiate history, and it also ranks him as the 18th fastest athlete in the history of this indoor event. But it's also important to mention that bowling primarily has been focusing on the 200 and the 400 meters as of recent, so this middle ground distance could be somewhat of a challenge for this athlete. It is also crucial to mention that it is still only January, so we do need to realize that these athletes probably aren't looking to run new personal records, they're just looking to start out strong and move forward. After a fair start, Bowling got out like lightning, as is the case for many of his races, but so too were the other athletes in the field, with Rose staying close in lane 5 and Faust running very strong in lane 4. Down the back stretch, it was a little difficult to see exactly what was going on, but Bowling was still holding strong to the lead and Rose and Faust were in hot pursuit. But then, with right around 100 or 80 meters left to run, Brian Faust pulled up on the inside and continued to stride away from both Bowling and Rose over these closing moments. With a very strong final 50 and an unmatched closing speed, Faust took a compelling victory in this race in 32.36 seconds, and he won this race quite easily. In fact, he almost took down Bowling, who finished in second, by almost half of a second, as Bowling finished in 32.84, and Cameron Rose from Clemson finished in third in 32.93. On the all-time list of the men's indoor 300, this performance now places Faust at number 14 all-time, and this time also ties him with Frankie Fredericks on this list, which is pretty amazing company on any list. This was a very exciting 300 meter showdown, but it's also important to mention that this was only one heat in many 300 meter races, and when compiled all together, Christopher Morales Williams from UGA actually finished in second with a time of 32.47. This was a very exciting way to kick off the new year, and for Matthew Bowling, this certainly wasn't the personal record start that he was looking for. However, it is a very long year, so with more racing, more training, and more competitive sharpening, perhaps we'll see him continue to perform well throughout the year. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.